Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today I will show you guys some really important iPhone security settings that you should change on your device right now. These are very, very important for the security and privacy of your iPhone and your data. Now, before we get into the video, let's just take a moment to thank the sponsor for today's video. This video is sponsored by Jumbo Privacy. Jumbo Privacy is an app available for iOS and Android. With Jumbo Privacy, you can get access to powerful privacy tools for free or pay whatever you think is fair for the Plus or the Pro version. Have you ever experienced hacks or something like that on your social media or your email? Most of us have. With Jumbo Privacy, you will get help to know when to set up protections like two-factor authentication, and of course, it will notify you when your data is breached or shown on the dark web. Jumbo Privacy can help you archive all social media posts and also will show which trackers are monitoring you and you can block them with one switch. It runs on the background and will continually scan for new threats. It can also automatically delete device recordings like Alexa or Google Home. You can try out Jumbo Privacy Pro for 7 days for free by clicking the link in the description. Alright, first of all, we're starting with some settings that you will find under Face ID and Passcode, of course. On the settings app now if you're not using face id or touch id you're just using your passcode on your iphone which of course you shouldn't do but if you're doing that then you will find here a section that says require passcode now if you go here you will have a few options to when to require passcode for your device now if you have enabled for example 15 minutes it won't require you your passcode every time you unlock your device it will just require the passcode every 15 minutes now, if you have this set at 15 minutes or one hour or maybe even four hours, make sure you go ahead and choose like the least time possible, maybe one minute or even immediately. So it always requires a passcode to enter your device because you don't want to leave it on four hours or maybe even one hour. Now, if you have Touch ID or Face ID enabled, you go ahead and go here and you will see that you only have one option and that's immediately you won't get these options. These will show up only when you have Touch ID or Face ID disabled. There is a very important setting that you need to enable on your iPhone that will allow you to quickly disable Face ID or Touch ID on your iPhone if of course it is required to quickly disable them and just use the passcode to enter the device. So what you have to do after you enable that option, which I will show you guys in a second, just go ahead and press five times on the power button. It will show the emergency screen. You tap right there on stop calling. And right now you can see once I go to unlock my device here, it will require the passcode. So face ID or touch ID, whichever you have on your device will be automatically disabled. Now this can be enabled by going to the settings app, go to emergency SOS and make sure you have enabled call with side button. And then this option will give you the ability to quickly disable the face ID or touch ID of your iPhone. A very useful option that Apple has added to the Face ID and Passcode section is the ability to set up an alternate appearance for your Face ID. So you should always do this. So you might have like two different appearance, maybe a beard, a beard on, beard off, all that stuff. So you go ahead and always make sure you have set up an alternate appearance so that you get every time into your device easily and that of course will also make face id a bit faster which is really really cool also right here we'll find require attention for face id now what this does is that it will require your full attention to your iphone so you need to be looking at your iphone in order for face id to unlock your device now this will of course slow down face id a bit but you won't even notice that but it is really really important that it, you always have your attention on your iphone before it gets unlocked using face id and lower here you also have a section that says access when uh, when locked so right here we'll have a bunch of different options different things that you can do on your device even though your device is locked with a passcode face id or even touch id so you can see you have today's view notification center control center siri you have here wallet return missed calls and all that stuff so all these if left on can be accessed even though your device is locked so what you want to do is of course make sure you go ahead and disable things like siri maybe return missed calls stuff like that reply with message so you don't want someone to be replying to your messages 
even though your device is locked so make sure you go ahead and enable disable these and of course leave enabled the ones that you want to and lower here you will also find data protection so erase all data now if you enable this then what it will do is that it will erase everything that you have on your iphone after 10 failed attempts to enter the passcode on your device so if your iphone gets lost or someone steals it they try to open it trying to guess the passcode of your device the 10th time they enter the wrong passcode everything on the iphone will be disabled they basically it's a self-destruction feature to delete everything on the iphone so someone cannot get access to your data of course a lot of important security settings can be found under the privacy section on the settings app and one of them can be found right here under location services you go ahead and scroll all the way down to system services now right here we'll find a bunch of different system services that use the location of your device but when they use that you won't see the little arrow right there at the top that indicates that something is using the location of your device if you want to see that even though an app is not using the location but system services are then you need to go ahead and enable this button right here status bar icon enable that and then it will show the icon when the system services are using your location on the settings app you will find a section for passwords right here we'll find all the different passwords that you have saved for different websites and stuff like that now what you need to do here is go ahead and go to security recommendations and make sure you have enabled detect compromised passwords now if you have passwords that have been compromised or you use the same password on every like website anywhere you log in then it will show you right here the high priority passwords that you need to change so you can see right here i just have like some random passwords here set just to showcase basically this scenario and you can see right here what it does it gives you the option to go ahead and change the password from there and if you tap here it will show you your username you can see the password right there and it says that it's reused it's been compromised and you need to go ahead and change this password for your account or whatever that is so make sure you always have detect compromised passwords turned on now if you go at your profile on the settings app that's at the top of the settings app and you go to find my you will find here find my iphone of course this should always be turned on and you will also find two other options lower here so you will have an option here find my network and another one send last location now basically by enabling find my network you will participate in the find my network that will let you locate this device even though it's it's offline another one right here send last location will automatically send the last location of your device when the battery is crucially low so if your iphone is running out of battery you have lost it somewhere or it might have been stolen something like that it will automatically send apple the last location of your iphone a new option that apple has added to the settings on ios 14 can be found under the wi-fi networks so if you go to any of your wi-fi networks and you tap the little i button you will get here an option called private address now using a private address will help reduce the tracking of your iphone across different wi-fi networks this is very very important for the privacy and of course security of your iphone and your data so make sure you go ahead and when you're connected to a network you tap the little i button and you turn on right here private address another thing that i suggest that everyone should do is hide the previews of notifications so when you go to the notification settings you will see here show previews now you have here two three different options you have never so i never show previews of the notifications on my iphone that's how i use it and right here we'll have always which is not really that smart always you get a text message you get a dm anything you get will be shown right there on the screen of your iphone so i don't think you should do that and you have another here when unlocked so if you use face id touch id or passcode then it will show the previews only when your iphone is unlocked so of course you might want to do that or just select never if you go to the notes settings and go ahead and scroll all the way down you will find here access notes from lock screen now what this does it allows to access notes directly from the control center on the lock screen so you're on the lock screen you just turn down the control center tap on the little icon for the notes and it will go ahead and create a new note that of course 
is not really dangerous but this one right here resume last note if you have been writing something you had a note maybe something important important information private information you might have had there someone will just tap that and of course it will send them to the last note that you have been just like making on your iphone so you want to basically choose always create a new note so it just takes you to a new note or turn it off completely and something really simple but you should always make sure that you have set it right it's found under display and brightness right here will have auto lock now if you leave this at never your iphone will basically never lock when you leave it somewhere you leave it unlocked you forget it unlocked it will just stay unlocked but of course if you choose any of these options of course the, the least the better of course that it will lock faster then it will automatically lock and your iphone is safe so make sure you always enable auto lock on your iphone and last but not least let's take another look here at the privacy settings right here we'll find a few things that are really important from photos right here you can see all the different apps that have access to the photos now with ios 14 you can choose apps to have access to just certain photos so you should do that you will have here local network you have bluetooth you have camera and microphone as well so if you go to any of these sections you will see right here all the apps that have access to your microphone your camera your bluetooth or your local network make sure you go ahead and check these out and see to which apps you have given access to one of these things of course sometimes when installing a new app and setting it up we just like clicking okay 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 and of course we might just give access to something that we don't want to so make sure you do a review of these and see which apps have access to your bluetooth the camera the mic and of course your local network so that is it for this video guys these are some really important security and privacy settings on your iphone that you should check and change right now of course that will be better for the security and privacy of your iphone thank you guys for watching leave a like if you enjoyed the video hopefully it was helpful don't forget to subscribe for more and i'll see you on the next one